Hey, if you are looking for ways to store your art supplies or you're just curious about what my art studio looks like, then this is the video for you. I make weekly art related videos and today I am going to be finally sharing what my studio looks like. In addition to this, I have not one but two incredible giveaways that I will link down below in the description for you to take part in. The first one is very kindly sponsored by Etcher who are going to be giving a Away one of their everyday sketchbooks and the other one is kindly sponsored by Artex who are going to be giving away their set of 126 colouring pencils so be sure to join one or both of the giveaways down below in the description. In addition to the giveaways I will be sure to link as much as I can <laughs> down below so be sure to check that out if there's anything that you see in this video that tickles your fancy. You may notice that I want to have my favourite art supplies as close to me as possible around my desk and I have created many videos highlighting my favourite watercolours, my favourite gouache, my favourite mixed media, my favourite sketchbooks, all of that and more. If that sounds good to you then be sure to check out all the videos that I have highlighted the thumbnails of and will link for you as well as the rest of my channel and consider liking and hitting the subscribe button. But with no further ado here is my art studio one of my absolute favourite places and this is going to be a long one so I advise you stretch get a beverage and chill. I am was stuck as to how to start this but it made sense that I had to start here because this is one of my favourite things. This is the 10 drawer set that was very kindly gifted to me by Meden and it honestly makes me feel like I am living in an art store and I absolutely love it. It has allowed me to get my art supplies out of the boxes and just arrange them in a way that I can see them and I can grab them and I can use them. So this set has 10 drawers and it's essentially five drawer chests on top of each other but they have a six drawer set and I think a four drawer set as well. It took me a little while to figure out exactly what I wanted in there and there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of experimentation but I'm finally at a place where I like the order, I like what's in there. There are some pros and cons to this chest of drawers. One beautiful pro is as I've demonstrated that you can just store your art supplies beautifully, you almost feel like you're in an art store, they're easy to grab and you can also take out the entire drawer if you want and have that on your desk if you have that kind of space. The drawback is as was kind of demonstrated a little while ago that it struggles to fit bigger tubes of paint so for example um, my Schmincke paints that are 15 mils can fit but the drawers will catch my um, acrylic gouache um, unfortunately cannot fit <laughs> which I found out after arranging the whole thing and thus I have it in a separate um, box but just be mindful of that if it's over full again it won't fit but it's it's great and it fits very easily if you want to put pencils in there if you want to put neo color twos in there if you want to put five mil tubes in there you won't have any issues with those it's more so if you're trying to squeeze like like me, like I'm squeezing my Windsor & Newton gouache in there. Or if you're trying to squeeze like big tubes, then you may struggle. You may have to jiggle the drawers a little bit when you are opening them. They will still fit. They'll just be snug. <laughs> I kind of feel like the way that I arranged my art supplies in my studio will only make sense to me. That being said, I will try to share the rationale behind them. <laughs> I tried to essentially group them by types. So I have drawers for my gouache, I have drawers for my acrylic gouache, I have drawers for my um, watercolours. When it came to the watercolours, metal tins can't fit in there just off the bat but when it came to like storing the tubes and the half pans and the full pans I did it by brand because I have quite a lot of watercolors and then I have one drawer that's like miscellaneous my Windsor & Newton gouache again I have lots of gouache so that got its own drawer and as I say, I then played around to kind of see what could fit and what couldn't. So heads up, acrylic wash will not fit. Artist pit pens will fit. However, I have the set of 30 and I think it could only fit maybe like 21, 22. So I put them in a separate place that I'll show you in a second. My miscellaneous drawer is essentially the drawer that has a mixture of things. So there's pencils in there. I also had a drawer that had my woodies. I have drawers that have pencils and essentially is completely full pan pastels will also fit in there but again it didn't feel like the best use of space just because the dividers you can't remove them so it basically meant that I think I could fit 12 inside so I've 
put them somewhere else. I'll show you in a second. The acrylic wash, as I've mentioned, couldn't fit. So my storage for now is to have it in a really nice, in a really nice glass box. That is where I used to have my Windsor and Newton wash, and now that houses all my acrylic wash and just to clarify these are the acrylic wash that can't fit and I learned that after like arranging them beautifully and trying to squeeze them into it and as you can see it's not working <laughs> I feel like my studio has like aesthetic parts and really not aesthetic parts so we've kind of highlighted some of the beautiful aesthetic parts including these awesome color cubes by Sarah Renee Clark that you will have seen we've been using quite a lot in recent live streams I also have my Fraser Price palette box on top of it and from there we go to the unesthetic part but it's functional at least for me so this is like a super affordable chest of drawers that I got from Wilco's that I just move with from place to place and in the top drawer I have put or I used to put my most used watercolors but you'll have seen that I've recently moved them because I've got a new chest of drawers so these are the remainder of the watercolors so it has my stay wet palettes that I'm going to turn to quite a lot my Roman Schmoll palette for when my current Roman Schmoll palette runs out I also have my Paul Rubens paints there my Windsor and Newton paints and just an array of different watercolors but ultimately because watercolors are my favorite mediums and they are more times than not what I'm going to be reached for these stay in my top drawer and they also can't fit inside the maiden drawers in the second drawer I have an array of miscellaneous things including mixed media items or things that I want to use for abstract art or like this for example that I need to put back inside my palette so it's just a mix and match of things <laughs> that I can't quite explain why they belong together but they kind of just do I also have the supervision paints which I've poured out into half pans but the main tubes are still here and I'm kind of curious to try them out again because I know that some people had reported issues with using them after a while so we'll see how that works. I feel like essentially all these drawers I need to organise but this one has again mixed media. My Faber-Castell pencils are here or rather some of them are here. My oil pastels are here, some gouaches here. This final drawer that is where I have again miscellaneous things. So this is my favourite tape which for reasons unknown is so expensive right now in the UK. It's Scotch Magic Tape um, so I'm looking for other tapes which is why I have like masking tape here as well. In addition to that I have super glue and then here I also store like random electronic like headphones or anything that I may need for a live stream and again that's why I have it right by my side now back to the aesthetic part we have this beautiful beautiful easel which was gifted to me by Meden and I am so so grateful because I have wanted an easel for the longest longest time it was part of their acrylic set so it actually comes with a number of different things though I must admit the easel was my favorite part as I said this is a field easel so in theory you can take it out plain air but it is quite heavy the set itself comes with acrylic clear gel medium molding paste a strap to carry the case acrylic finish gloss varnish this I don't know why <laughs> it comes with a rubber or eraser a pencil a pencil case some tiny brushes the set also includes 10 paints including the zinc white which is outside of this package and they do provide pigment information and then they also have brushes and I feel like we've got two tiny brushes then we've got acrylic brushes and then we've got like hog hair brushes that to me feel a bit more like for oil painting but should work well for acrylic paint painting as well on top of all of that there's a wooden palette there's a palette pad and then there's a canvas pad that has 100% cotton the set also includes three 14 by 11 inch canvas panels and two 16 by 20 inch canvases so all in all I can't think of a better way of starting off acrylics and I am so so excited to use this entire set some of you may know especially if you're my Kofi that I have recently started approaching abstract painting with acrylics and long before watercolors I was actually painting with acrylics and this is just one of the examples that pre-Raphaelite asked to see a close-up of during one of our live streams this set and all my discount codes will be in the description and then from there we go on to what I actually sit on which is this ottoman that is full <laughs> It's full of watercolour papers and these are papers that I want to use relatively soon but not like super crazy soon because the ones that I want to use like in the very very immediate future are near my desk and these ones are the ones that I will use following that. And on a completely random note the radiator is never on which is why I'm happy having the papers there um, otherwise I would be worried about the sizing going off. 
this is a watercolor painting that I created a while back and I just love seeing it when I walk into the studio so until I complete a uh, acrylic painting that I want on the easel I will have that there and then we move on to <laughs> we move on to this if I could pick a soundtrack to describe me putting this together it would be I'm a survivor <laughs> my destiny's child because oh my gosh it has been such a long time since I've had to do any true form of DIY and this was quite challenging I managed to do it I have a few extra screws I'm not sure if I should but that being said it works it houses all my favorite art supplies or even more of my favorite art supplies and honestly, the song feels fitting because there were some points, especially when I was watching this footage back, where it was like, wow, I was really risking it all with the electric screwdriver. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I can see how people get hurt doing this. But anyway, thank God I was fine and I managed to put it together and the electric screwdriver was actually a lifesaver all things considered as we watch me risking my life hit the like button <laughs> but also I this just reminds me of you know that movie where there's the baby who gets kidnapped and just like crawls around in the most dangerous situations and the kidnappers are trying to keep it safe sometimes that is what I feel like God must feel like with me because as I watch some of the things that I was doing is like the things that could have gone wrong I almost put this footage up so you know what not to do <laughs> when you are doing um DIY but hey ho we got there in the end with no injuries only a few questionable moments and a few extra screws I cannot deny the similarity between this and the Alex Draws by Ikea but I did get this from Amazon and I will leave it linked down below because it was cheaper now to start things off I have my Roman Schmall in my top drawer as well as like my tube squeezer my most used sketchbook some clips just bits and bobs that I would want to use and reach for in terms of the sketchbooks that I have as I said they are my most use sketchbooks so I have the everyday etcher sketchbook which is part of the giveaway so be sure to check that in the description and as the name implies it's like my everyday sketchbook it can take watercolors beautifully it can take gouache beautifully I then have my favorite sketchbook which is the etcher perfect signature series sketchbook in cold press and I absolutely love this sketchbook I'm currently working through a series from my trip in Thailand so that stays by my side as well and then next we have the etcher signature series hot press sketchbook which I've been using to experiment more with a looser mixed media style and then I also have two more sketchbooks that I haven't shown here one of them is my art creations royal talent sketchbook and in there I just create more loose doodles time studies and I've got a whole video where I share my process when I take it out with me to coffee shops and then I also have my CY of Brighton watercolor sketchbook which is my low pressure sketchbook I have made a whole separate video highlighting how many sketchbooks I have, what I use them for, why I have so many and just essentially reviewing all the sketchbooks that I am using and I will leave that linked down below for you. But in a nutshell, the Sea White of Brighton sketchbook, the watercolour one, is my low pressure sketchbook. It has cellulose paper that I really enjoy to paint on. It, I can use it for near finished pieces. I can use it for swatches because it's a reasonable price point. And I can use it for mixed media, for gouache. It's just a very versatile sketchbook. And it's one that I am going to be going back to time and time again. On top of that, I have a sketchbook that I am absolutely loving at the moment, and that is the Caddy Fat book. And it has 100 GSM watercolor paper that's 100% cotton. It is thin, but you get so many pages, like 98 pages. It's nice, it's thick, and it is for me at the moment the perfect low pressure sketchbook because I'm just able to mess around I'm able to do swatches I'm able to experiment with different styles I'm able to do pieces that to be honest I don't intend to be complete finished pieces but I've really created some things that I really really enjoy in here as well as that I have also created a few things like these for example that I want to try and see if I can create them into 
bigger canvases. This is an experiment that I have been doing for my Kofi members and I am working on putting that video together where I essentially mixed my own acrylic inks kind of colors and use them to create these beautiful abstract pieces. So as well as that, I combined it with FW acrylic inks with a number of different colors and it's just been really, really fun exploring different mediums and feeling quite free. So I will leave a link down below because I know that it is definitely very popular and I think for good reason. I think if you don't like warping and you want a sketchbook where you can create finished pieces, then look at the Etcher sketchbooks because they are chef's kiss. They are amazing. However, if you want a sketchbook on a lower end of the budget that you can just mess around in that is still 100% cotton, then this is wonderful as well. But you thought we were over with the watercolours. <laughs> in this next draw, I have even more watercolours that I reach for. So I have my Daniel Smith watercolours, my entire collection of Romish Moore watercolours, Windsor and Newton Cotman's, as well as mix and match like Jackson's, um, shiny watercolours, just the full works. Again, nice and easy to reach. In the third draw, I have miscellaneous. So I haven't like fully filled this draw yet. So this is a piece that we created during a live stream recently which I store there as well. I have my ceramic palettes as well as my Kuretaki watercolours which are wonderful. So I have the set that I have been using and loving and because I enjoyed it so much I have added the Art Nouveau set which was very popular as well as this tiny set because I love the deep dark maroon colours that were included and this is the original set that I have that I was very very kindly gifted by my mom many years ago and I still absolutely love. In this drawer I have my paper cutter, I have some more watercolours and I also have my swatches and then in this final bottom drawer I have sketchbooks that I need to work on and complete <laughs> essentially so they are um, sketchbooks that I'm making my way to. On top of this chest of drawers, I have this. I think it's called like a Lazy Susan. It's meant to like um, be used for organizing um, makeup, but I use it for my pencils and that's worked very well for me. I also have some more ceramic palettes on there and I have things that I want to be easy to read. Then next to my chest of drawers, I have a plastic trolley that I have got. I am really tempted by the Ikea metal trolley, but I have this one, so I'm using it. I have some brushes at the top. I have acrylic paints in the middle, and then I have some acrylic mediums at the bottom. So those are all the things that are around my desk and within arm's reach. But now it's time to take a closer look at my desk and what I store on there. And there is an array of different medias, as you can probably tell. One of the things is my Artex pencils, which I have arranged by color families roughly. And they are also part of the giveaway. So if you are interested in trying them out, especially now that it's Christmas or you want to gift them to someone, be sure to check out all the information down below in the description. They do come in a lovely box but I found that I wasn't really reaching for them when they were out of sight so instead I have arranged them by colour families and put them in these glass jars that I got from Poundland and not only do they serve as a beautiful form of decoration but it's very practical in the sense that because they are right in front of me I feel very much inspired to use them and they are easy to reach. And that is the sentiment that I have around my desk. So my flash paints, my acrylic inks, my watercolours, everything is situated around my desk so that I can easily access it. I honestly put off creating this video for the longest time in part because I wanted my studio to be aesthetic and super neat but the reality of it is that you know I'm filming I'm recording I'm not naturally the neatest of people and thus I have art supplies everywhere and my desk is usually an explosion of art supplies as you can see here. I tried to maximize the space that I do have, especially when it comes to my desk. So I bought this kind of stick on drawer, which I have placed just underneath my desk and it stores some Neo Color 2s as well as clips, palettes, again, little other things that I want to use or that I am currently using at that time that I just want to store and have nearby.
it came in really really handy before I had my new chest of drawers as it meant that I could just make more space in the tiny kind of footprint that I had within my desk. I then also got three of these cups from Temu and they have actually been such a helpful little thing to have because I've been able to stick them onto the edges of my tables and have again things that I want to reach for very easily so my brushes, my pens, they are just neatly there and easy to reach. I've also got this soap dish which is where I store my brushes when I am using them and they are still wet. Aim of it being basically that I don't damage the bristles and I have somewhere for them to rest and then they go back to the cups that I have stuck on and the one that's further out is the one that has my favourite brushes and the one that's further in has the brushes that I like but perhaps use a little bit less. Then I have this that I've also got from Temu and has three drawers. The first one having pan pastels, the second having acrylic markers and the third having artist pit pens, which I adore. And that is because they would have just taken up too much retail space if I'd put them in the Meaden set. Now, as you know, this also doubles as my recording space. So I have my microphone, which I'm using now. I also have my overhead tripod, which has been such an invaluable addition to my YouTube set up I have my light so I have a soft box as well as a ring light that's again uh, it's an it's what I used to use back in the day but then I stopped using it because I had two soft boxes but to try and make the most of the space I have I've just been using that ring light on the side I have my laptop as well as my webcam for live streaming and I know I complain about my laptop, but I do actually like absolutely love it. It's going on eight years old. I use it for editing, for streaming, for life admin, for just absolutely everything. So, <laughs> so it's always by my side. As well as creating YouTube videos, I also create exclusive art related videos for my art members over on Kofi. And it has been so much fun experimenting with them, creating new things, sharing more and just being able to share behind the scenes and a bit more of my process. As I have delved into using acrylics and more mixed medias, I have wanted to protect my used to be completely white, now stained white table and thus I have a chopping board <laughs> on my table and I, I quite like it. I feel like it all, almost gives it like that autumnal um, winter feel so it's definitely something that I will use for now and later I'll probably change it to a desk mat and on there especially when I'm creating things like the dot cards which is part of my new Kofi tier where I am sending out professional grade watercolor dot cards to my members as well as hosting zoom painting sessions and so much more has just been absolutely wonderful. I will leave the links down below in the description we are always very welcoming to new members so if you are interested in this and investing in your art and spending time with other artists sounds like something that you would enjoy then definitely consider joining there's very limited space in the happy mail tier however we have plenty of spaces available in the digital tier as well so there is something there for everyone and then over in the corner of the studio, we have my wonderful alcohol markers with the top and bottom sets being by Ohuhu and the middle set being by Artex. Not only are they beautiful to look at, but again, this is practical because you want to store your alcohol markers horizontally. And then next to it, we have this beast of a printer that I absolutely love that has allowed me to do waterproof watercolor swatches and so much more. And I'll leave it linked down below in the description. In honesty, there are other parts to my studio, like my comfy couch that I absolutely love, my bookshelf that's messy and you can see in the background. This is where I store some of my paintings that I have done already and I want to keep them nice and protected. As I've mentioned, I have so many sketchbooks that I highlight in the video that I'll link for you, but I store most of them on my bookshelf. And there are other nooks and crannies, um, such as where I pack my Kofi mail and where I do other types of paintings. That being said, I hope that you have enjoyed the snapshot of my favourite part of the studio and the highlight of my art supplies. As I've mentioned, there are not one but two giveaways included in this video and I will leave the links and the information down below in the description. If you want to join both, you will have to fill out two forms, just a heads up. The first one is by Etcher and they're going to be giving away their 
sketchbook and you get to pick the orientation, the type of paper, as well as the size. And then the second one is a set kindly donated by Artex of 126 colouring pencils. If you are still watching, then you are a real MVP and you already know that I really, really appreciate you. I love the community that we have on here and I love hearing from you. So let me know, do you have a neat art studio, a messy art studio? What is your setup like? I definitely feel very, very fortunate to have this now. And it's taken me a while, but I'm finally like setting it up in a way that works for me. If you enjoyed this video, then you will definitely love this next one where I highlight my favorite art supplies and the art that I've created with them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.